Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn regression testing in agile development approach. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood what is reg regression testing and how it is, you know, different from retesting or you can say retesting is sort of part of regression testing, but they are not same. So retesting and regression testing are different and I explain, I will explain it in the next tutorial. Now, um, in continuation to what is regression testing, when do you do it, you know, uh, we ne also need to understand what is regression testing in agile or how you need to basically uh, you know approach regression testing in agile development approach so uh, if we talk about the agile development approach uh, say for example you are uh, following scrum so scrum is a two to four weeks development cycle now in the two to four weeks development cycle or iterations which are also known as sprints so say for example your project follows two week sprint so what you will have in two week sprint is you will have the sprint backlog and sprint backlog is nothing but the set of stories or the features that you will be you know uh, implementing in those two weeks as a team and uh, developing that and basically showcasing or demoing the working software uh, after uh, the two weeks or the sprint gets over right so say for example if i say sprint one is your first sprint which is basically uh, you know two weeks cycle okay so in scrum you will be having you know two weeks or whatever uh, cadence that you choose so if your project uh, has chosen two weeks uh, sprints then you will be following two weeks sprints until the completion of the project so in the two weeks say for example you have picked you know four stories so story one story two story three and story four and stories are nothing but the requirements in the agile project or scrum so these stories are basically the functionalities that will define that will have the functionalities and the uh, or the requirement and the acceptance criteria which is defined in these stories and these will be implemented in the sprint right so developers will start working using these requirements which are nothing but the stories user stories and they'll start developing those user stories testers will collaborate with developers bas and they'll start uh, you know uh, documenting or writing the test cases and as soon as the functionalities are available testers will start testing the uh, stories and ensure that the acceptance criteria that is met in these stories is as expected right so when we talk about regression testing in agile how it is it becomes challenging in agile uh, if you cater for the manual regression testing we'll understand that so say for example this is the first sprint and uh, you have four stories and each story has say for example this story has four test cases this has five uh, this has you know seven and this has ten test cases right so these are the test cases that you have written for these four user stories to verify that the functionality that is defined in these user stories is as expected right now this is the uh, number of test cases that you have written and executed in sprint one now once sprint one got over say for example here you have executed all of these you know manually right so there will be another uh, next sprint which is sprint two and in sprint two which is again next two weeks cycle and in sprint two you will get another user requirements right so another user stories based on the priority say for example five six seven eight right so four stories again or maybe you know like nine stories depending on you know capacity of the team uh, and the size of the stories so in the next sprint now you have five more user stories to actually test and you are documenting the test cases for these user stories okay so uh, you have a couple of test cases written for these user stories and now these are the number of test cases that you have written for these user stories for sprint 2 so you will be doing the progression testing which is functional testing of these user stories in the second sprint as well as because in the second sprint the code that has been written in the first sprint there will be new addition to the code that is written in sprint 1 uh, from sprint 2 as well then you need to ensure that the existing functionality that was working in sprint 1 hasn't broken right so that is what a regression testing is to ensure that any existing functionality of the application that has already been working 
prior to the new implementation uh, be it addition of the new functionality which is which is in this case uh, you know addition of the new functionality uh, that are part of the user stories or if say for example there was a defect that you raised in sprint one uh, and that got fixed so you re-executed so any updates that happen you need to re-execute the existing functionality uh, or a subset of existing functionality uh, based on the addition uh, whatever updation has been done and ensure that existing functionality works so in this particular case what you need to do is you need to either pick all of these test cases that you have picked in sprint 1 and re-execute in sprint 2 to ensure that everything that was passed in sprint 1 is still working right but that is really really not feasible in agile project if you are doing the manual testing or even if you are doing the automation testing so what you do in agile projects um, you know the reason for that is why it is not feasible so for example there is another sprint 3 okay so there will be in like 10 15 20 sprints you know until you release the software it depends how big your project is so in sprint 3 which is another two weeks you will be having some more stories right so uh, 10 11 12 13 14 so like four uh, five more stories there will be you know new test cases and then here if you want to execute the overall uh, test cases or regression test cases you have to execute these plus these and then plus the functional test cases that you write in sprint 3 so with each and every upcoming sprint your number of test cases that need to be executed as part of the regression suite will keep increasing right and that is not possible with the size of team that you will be having you can't keep adding new members or new addition to your team in each sprint so this is the biggest challenge in the agile testing approach right now how you can tackle it is basically through automation right so the first thing is to basically if say for example in this particular sprint you have couple of test cases so you can target uh, as part of the automation you automate uh, the regression test cases that you have identified from this list so in the sprint one as you do the uh, progression test cases or the test cases that have been part of these stories you also keep marking them which of them are very important and need to be part of the regression suite so you in the tool itself you mark those test cases as a regression so that your regression test suite gets built as you progress with within the sprint along with that you need to say for example out of this four test cases you marked one as a regression candidate you mark two out of these five as regression candidates uh, two out of these seven and then two out of these ten as regression candidates you should not try to include all of the test cases that you have tested as part of the functional testing as the regression test suite if you are doing that then you are basically you know um, not segregating what is really important and what is less important in the project and in a project or in a, in the features uh, everything can't be important right so it has to be prioritized based on the highest priority or the highest usage and the low usage and the low priority so based on that you basically come up with the test cases that will form your regression test suite right and these test suite you try to automate as you progress along in the sprint in the agile project right so say for example now i have you know seven test cases uh, in the next sprint uh, i'll have a team or i'll have a team members who will automate these test cases so that when we are in the next sprint we can basically rather than executing these test cases manually as part of the regression testing we will in sprint to run these test cases with the automation tool so you can use you know selenium or if you can you are automating using the api tools uh, at the api level you can you, you do the api test automation uh, and there are n number of tools uh, available to do the ui automation so you can use those tools to automate and you know once you are in sprint 2 you have the automated suite ready then when you go to the sprint 3 you identify the regression candidates in sprint 2 automate those and in sprint 3 you are having that automated test suite built and ready uh, that is automated regression test suite and that will reduce um, the amount of effort that you need to put manually each and every sprint 
and will help you to achieve the regression target and regression testing in the agile project and scrum um, agile scrum basically so scrum is uh, the framework uh, which is very widely used the agile uh, used agile development methodology nowadays right so this is how you can tackle regression testing in agile uh, development approach so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful uh, please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching